Oh, we are looking at a different kind of smartwatch today. And I like when companies send out things that are different because most of the smartwatches I found in the, in the last little while, um, some are definitely better than others for sure. Uh, build quality, screen brightness, features, et cetera, et cetera. But I do really appreciate it when a company brings out something that you're like, ha, that's neat. I like that. So these guys, uh, Wolf Notch, first off, what a cool, cool name, right? Wolf Notch, Just stay hungry and take over, take over the world. I don't know. Okay, anyways, here is their website. Uh, it's a introducing the Kuth Wolf, I'm guessing, maybe? Uh, earphone smartwatch two in one. So what's cool about this smartwatch and, and earbuds all together. So earphones, Headphones, blood pressure monitoring, 24 hour rate monitoring, sleep monitoring, exercise data, blood oxygen monitoring, fine phone, alarm clock, stopwatch, music control, call rejection, message notification. Um, it looks cool. At least in the pictures, it looks cool. Blood pressure monitoring, keep abreast of your blood pressure. Adopt international general algorithms, measure blood pressure 24 hours a day. Cool. Again, uh, they're not claiming this to be medical grade, uh, so just use it as a guide. Okay, various detection functions, scientific care of health. Cool. All right. Hopefully, it gives you some similar information. Packaging. I just I think it's really cool that they've put in Bluetooth headphones, wireless pairing, music and calling, uh, two forty by two forty screen. Uh, it has a 350 milliamp battery in it. Uh, well, it says infrared pulse wave, high precision blood oxygen measurement. All right. Very cool. There it is right there. Right. Okay. I'm down. That's a, it's a, it looks like a big watch, which I, which I, which I kind of like, and I don't know if it needs, well, I, I guarantee you it does. Uh, it needs its own, uh, app. But they got some different styles, which is kind of kind of nice. Okay, what's the price point? Normally, this is going for about $189 US. It looks like a time of filming. Sorry, I don't necessarily know if this is going to be their price normally or when you get to see this video. $129. All right, here's the box. Wolf Notch. I'm kind of excited. So here it is. You get, you get, you get, you get. Difficult way to get this out. Okay, here we go. Okay, so it's it comes kind of disconnected, right? So you do get this. We're gonna take that off. Okie dokie. Wolf notch. Anything over the heart rate sensor? Doesn't look like there is, but I can't tell for sure. Maybe there is. Yep. They should have a pull tab on there. They should have a pull tab. I'm sure hoping that there's a sticker. Yeah, there is. Okay, so that comes off. So they should have put a they should put a pull tab on there because I guarantee you there'll be people that don't know that that's there. All right, cool, solid. That's where look at that. Hey, that's where your earbuds are gonna go. What? Okay, so this comes out and your earbuds come out somehow. There's there's the earbud. Now, are they gonna be the coolest, most awesomest earbuds? I don't know. Do these have little? Little guys, I think they do too. Yeah, these have little stickers on them. So uh, again, I do like that they put these little stickery things on them, but a little pull tab would be nice. Okay, and then this, check this out. Check this, so th these are them. You guys can see them up close, right? It's a little, well, it's different looking. So this kind of just goes right there. Oh, you're got to be kidding me. They turn into buttons. See that? Are they actual like little buttons or do they just, they look like buttons. Oh, see the actual buttons are on this side, but they look, oh, that's smart. I like that. So I'm guessing I got the all black one. There's the band, is it a traditional? Yeah, traditional watch style band, which is cool. Uh, you do get, these are your tips. I'm guessing these will be just different sizes. So you just get one set of, it looks like smaller ones. 
uh, USB A to some kind of weird magnetic guy again. Okay. You get a screen protector if you want to put a screen protector on there. And you get a user manual. Okay. Appearance, description, charging the bracelet, earphone charging. Earphone charging, I guess. You just charge it in the watch. Okay. So what we're going to do here, what we're going to do here is I am unplugging you. I'm putting the band on. The band's coming together. Yeah. And then this, this goes in, I'm guessing it goes, I'm guessing it goes this way. I don't even have, no, it goes this way. I, I don't know what way it goes. That says 45, so it must come this way because that's your clock along the top. See this? It kind of goes zero, 05. So I'm guessing this is the top. I don't know if it matters. I shouldn't have this much trouble putting stuff in, but I do. I do. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. Okay. I'm going to put the band in and then we'll be back. Okay. We're in, we're in just like that. And it's already, it's already smudgy. I'm like let's clean that up a little bit. Okay. There we go. Did I put it in the right way? Chances are good. I think I did. I think that, that looks accurate. Yes. That looks accurate. Okay. So my guess is the manual, wherever I put that, right here, uh, is is probably going to need an app. Download and install the application. So a little tiny QR code right there. All right, I'm going to grab this and then we'll be we'll be right back. Okay, so we're opening this up. Would you like to use that? Bluetooth? Yes. Moving this over to the side. Today's goal is eight thousand steps. Okay. Uh, it looks like a super simple uh, app, to be honest with you. There's sleep, there's this, there's sleep, there's this. There's a refresh button, device not connected. Okay, I'm with you. How do I connect a device? Is there an up and down? There's a little menu at the top, maybe? Oh, that's horrible to look at. Personal information, my device, let's try there. Device list. I have to turn this on. My guess would be I'd have to turn it on. I'm guessing one of these buttons would turn it on. Maybe, maybe my battery's dead. Maybe it has to be plugged in. Okay, I'm with you. Stay with me. Stay with me. Maybe that'll just fire it up right now. Okay, so we got something come up. Oh, and there it is. It showed up. So you do have to just plug it in to get it to start. So we're just going to hit that. Pairing. Successful. It does say my battery is sitting at a whopping 0%. Allow. So we may want to charge this. But uh, screen-wise, you guys can see that. There's a little bit of a bevel right there. You guys see it right there? You know, around it. Uh, not bad. But it's definitely there. Okay. Oh, I'm getting notifications already. All right. And see, there's there's my like main screen I have right there. So my guess is that should be changeable. But what we're gonna do, uh, real fast, we're gonna go in here. Settings. C come on now. You got you got to make that app look better. That's that's really hard to read. So you got personal information which is going to be gender, age, height, weight, and your step goal. You'll have alarm message reminders. So these are the apps, I guess. Again, you know, I love gray on black. Not when you're trying to read it, right? That's, that's bad. Uh, search for bracelet. Yeah. Function, uh, sedentary reminder and risk. Raise for wrist. I'm going to turn that on. Okay. Uh, dial settings. Oh, there's all your, there's all your watch faces. So there's lots of watch faces, which is kind of nice. Um, I'm going, I'm going with, I'm going with, I'm going with, I'm going with this one. Apply this dial. You can kind of see it right there. Maybe you can see it. It's moving that over. 
All right, I might as well get some stuff in there while, while it's happening. So I'm gonna let this charge. We'll come back and do a complete tour of the app and then we'll take a look at the watch. All right, stay tuned. All right, guys, it's been about, it's been about an hour ish, somewhere like that. And we are at, look at that, 75%. All right. Again, I'm not a fan of this screen. So let's keep going through here a little bit. So we went through all these functions, uh, dial settings, which was this, this stuff. Uh, what is that? Oh, this is allow access to your photos. Uh, I'm guessing this would allow you to use the two of them to take pictures between each other would be my guess. Uh, version number, yep. That's all under exercise. Uh, refresh, I don't have anything. Heart rate. So current heart rate, start measure. Oh, we've got some extra stuff now. Blood pressure, blood oxygen, sleep, uh, exercise. Again, I'm going to say that the apps, it's, it's, it's really, the app is really basic. Now I'm sure it does exactly what it needs to do, but it is very simple, right? So once you're in here, there's no like more. It's just, it, that's it, right? Today's goal. All right. So I'm going to, that's, that's going over there. You can, we can bring this up here. Now watch face wise, you know, um, it looks nice. It's a nice looking watch. If I come down here, can I bring the brightness up a little bit? Uh, brightness. Yeah. So I don't have it up very bright. I was going to say it doesn't feel very bright, but is that in there good. Yeah, that's in there. Good. Okay. So we got our brightness up a bit more. Okay. Let's use one of these buttons. Maybe to go back. Okay. We have, uh, it's, it's bound. It's the 29th by batteries about 75%. So is your battery right there. My brightness, you can tap on that just to show your brightness. You have one of these, hold on, I'll get it, I'll get it. Uh, music, and I'm guessing this is like a search. Oh, it's gonna search your phone. Just kind of give it a ding, I'm guessing. Okay, there it is, found it. My volume's down on my phone, just so you guys know. Um, going down to up, we are gonna have notifications. Pretty pretty standard stuff. Uh, this way, uh, motion, which is also gonna be, I would think, yeah, your, your like activity circles. Oops. Messages, stopwatch. Uh, it says Mac. What is Mac? Oh, that must just be your whatevers. I keep hitting the wrong button. I, one day I'm going to get that right. Stopwatch, set. It may speak for timer. Reset. Luminance. I guess brightness. Language. Find your phone. Uh, heart rate. Blood pressure. Oxygen. And then that's kind of it. We'll check the oxygen in that after, and then we can go back. And if we go the other way, we get the exact same things. Yeah. It doesn't really matter which way you go. You get the same deal. So this one up top automatically takes you to like your exercise rings, you know, can you scroll anything in there? No, not really. Okay. Well, let's put it on. Let's put it on because it's important to wear it, I guess. And it's a little different too, because I find most watches, most watches, the buttons uh, on the watch um, are on this side, which is on the right, because most of us, not everybody, but a lot but a lot of us, most of us have our watches on the left arm um, because you're doing stuff with your right. So this makes this one free because right-handed, but if you're left-handed, you may choose the other way. Um, so this, all your buttons here, here, which means they'd be on this side on here. So a little different, but I'm guessing they want to make sure you have access to the actual earbuds, right? So let's go back in here. So screen brightness wise, it's not too bad. You guys, you can see it there, but it's not too bad. Um, I'm going to go check my heart rate here, right? Check my current heart rate. And then I'm going to go in here and I should be able to, can I scroll the other way? Heart rate. Okay. I think it's checking. It's got some weird animation that it seems to be checking. I just calm down, calm down. This is 80. This is 81. So yeah, we're close. That's good. Um, can I scroll over there? Now this one doesn't have any of these blood, blood pressure. 
Again, don't take blood pressure or blood oxygen to be medical grade. Uh, it's, it's a good guide. And if, you know, it doesn't seem like it's good here, then I would definitely possibly go and uh, get it checked out somewhere that they can do that, right? There we go. Let's see. 126 over 69. Uh, that to me is high. But I just did my uh, blood pressure on a different watch a little while ago. And I was like 117. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know. All right. And then here we got blood oxygen, which is going to give you your, I should get 98%. Unless something's wrong, I guess. The blood oxygen is actually an important one to kind of be aware of, 97. Because if you get down closer to like 90s, um, especially if you've had or have like COVID or anything like that, that's something that really is important. And I know when I actually had COVID, they actually sent out uh, the the province to where I live. They sent they send out in 99 now uh, an actual blood oxygen uh, tester, I guess, so that you can get medical grade, right? But they were almost always identical, so that was good. Um, when you go into your activity, so motion, how do I start one? Let's say I want to actually start something. Does it have activities? You would think it would have some form of activity, motion, message, stopwatch, set. What is set? Well, that's set your time. I guess it's going to come off your phone if you wanted that, right? I'd hit that again. So bad. Reset. No. No. Luminance is going to be your screen brightness. Okay. Find phone. Yeah, I'm with you. Is that it? Yeah. Uh, I'm not quite seeing where one would go because it has steps and calories and kilometers. You know, see, I click motion and it takes you here. Do I tap and hold? Do I do anything? Nope. Not quite sure if it has, because it doesn't even have anything here. It says exercise. And the only thing it says is steps. That's it. That's all it says is steps. So my, my the only thought I have is that this actually doesn't have an ability to go out and be like, oh, I'm actually going to uh, go for a run or go for a ride, ride, my, ride my bike or play tennis or anything like that. And it doesn't seem to have anything even, even on here. So I guess is it doesn't. Okay. All right. So be it. That's, that's kind of a weakness. Now, when you have this, the question is, how do you get the ear? These, so I guess you have a big enough hook on there that you can, if you get your nail in there, you can pull the headphones out. Right, they kind of go in the magnetic, but if you kind of get this, you can pull them out. All right, and I'm guessing I'm guessing this one's right. I have no idea. Allowed to fit to also use your location when you're not sure. Sure, no, sure, why not? How about, but it is what it is. So these are crazy small, like crazy small. I don't think they're going to go in my ears, like, like right in my ears. Connect. It already says connected. I'm not sure what it's connected to. Maybe because my watch was connected. I don't. Okay, now it says pairing. All right, they're in. They're in. Okay, let's just see. If I go to settings, and Bluetooth. Is there anything here? Maybe that's it. JMO3TWS. Right there. Connected. It's got decent bass that I can hear already. And they're like they're small, right? You guys can see them, right? They're they're tiny. They're they're not like ergonomic or they fit in. I think I, I just kind of spinning them in there till they fit. Because I think you got to realize too, right? This watch right now, 130 bucks can be like $190. And if you look at a smartwatch and earbuds that were both really good, like really good, you'd spend considerably more money. Uh, this is really the price of earbuds and a uh, budget smartwatch put together. Um, but you have the, the ability to have this. Now, my concern with too is because like, if you were listening to these, for instance, right? Really listening to these. 
pop. Look, look how open that is. You guys, right? You see that? Like it's my guess. I, I don't know what how open that is to the elements, right? But it's it's pretty. Like you can stick your finger in there. I don't. I don't. I do like the concept. I almost wish that there was a like a rubber cover that you had to lift off or something. Then these went in. Then you kind of sealed the rubber cover in so it's it's sealed better. That's just my idea. Uh, let's listen to see what it sounds like though. Um, let's see. Sound is okay. They are. Um, I would say a little on the mid to high level, like for not not at least for me, I'm not getting a ton of low end. Like if I if I really kind of get them in there, it's not bad. But like still, like right there, it's not bad. But it's still not like the full. Like it's it's decent, but it's not like the full sound that you would get out of you know 150 or 200 dollar earbuds. Not that you should expect that, but you know, it's decent. Like I would be fine if I was riding a bus or going for a walk or whatever. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't bring my good headphones. And I got these with me. I'd be like, I could, well, at least I have these, right? So yeah, no, it sounds okay. I'll try one more song here, right? Crank them up. Let's see if there's any kind of distortion at all. Yeah, you know, on this song, they sound actually a little bit better. It's probably more of a full song. Yeah, no, that's okay, actually. I take back some of the stuff that I said. Once they're in there, it's pretty good. Okay, no, that's that's pretty decent. Um, you know, I, if you're looking for a combo, uh, that that's pretty sweet, right? It's pretty sweet. Now, the one thing that I, I'm not a fan of is it doesn't seem to have anything for specific activity. Other than that, I think it's kind of cool. So as always, uh, I will have a short that comes out later on tonight after I've worn this for uh, one battery cycle. So for those that are new to the channel, this video would have been filmed a week or so ago. The short will usually be filmed on the day that it comes out. So we've had a chance to play with this for a little bit of time. And the short will kind of give you some uh, follow up information within a minute of my thoughts. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you there. Um, Wolf Notch. Kind of cool. It's big though, right? All right, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit the little notification bell. And I'll see you guys next video. Probably tonight. Later.